Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. I've had some videos pop up in my feed of people I'm not subscribed to. And then a brother in Christ sent me a video of someone else saying some things as well, too. And I just think the church needs a reminder of something here. You know, this is a warning to a lot of people who claim to be Christians and I'm not saying that they don't think in their minds that they love God but you got to remember Jesus said these people worship me with their lips but their heart is far from me that's not my words that's Christ you read that in the book of Matthew but a lot of people are titling videos the Holy Spirit had me tell you this Remember around the eclipse time too, uh, people were saying the Holy Spirit told them you're going to be raptured. That's lying on the Holy Spirit. There's people that's been setting dates for June 22nd, you get raptured. And they're saying the Holy Spirit revealed that. You need a very stern reminder. YouTube channels. Male and female, both alike, in the sense of lying on the Holy Spirit. The reason why I want you to remember here in Acts chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back that part of the price of the land? While it remained in was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thy own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And a great fear came on all them that heard these things. So what happened? He lied on the Holy Ghost and he died. You know, what is up with people wanting to lie on the Holy Ghost? You know, Jesus said there was one sin that is unpardonable, that you can't be forgiven for. One sin. Now, some people try to teach that since his death on the cross and resurrection now that sins forgiven but the bible doesn't say that man says that the word does not return void and it does not lie lying on the holy ghost is blasphemy saying the holy ghost told somebody to say something and it does not come to pass the book of deuteronomy tells you that you do not need to fear these people they are liars and Revelation 21.8 says liars, along with many other things, are not in the kingdom of God. Liars will have their portion in the lake of fire, which burns. You know, we have a heat wave going on right now through a lot of the world. And people are fearing this heat wave when hell's a lot hotter. If people had a reverence and a fear for God, they wouldn't lie unto God. You know, a lot of people say, oh, it was only lying to men. But you don't realize if you, which we had a sermon not long ago, if you are taking an oath by God to something and you lie on it, you have lied an oath upon God. If you are saying that the Holy Spirit told you to say something and it does not happen, Look, the Holy Spirit is not going to give you something that is contrary to what the Word of God says. The Holy Spirit is going to give you what the Word says. This is a warning to all these harlot YouTube channels and these harlot churches and these harlots that are sitting here saying the Holy Spirit told them this. 
It pops up on YouTube all the time. Some people have, oh, God told me to say this, like seven times a week. They have a message that says that. And by the end of the year, they've been talked to by God more than God spoke to Moses. The Bible tells you that God spoke with Moses in communion more than any other man that walked on this earth other than Christ Jesus himself because Christ Jesus was one with the Father. Stop lying on the Holy Ghost. 